Hey, we are back with another Disciple Dojo video study Bible review, and today we're going to be reviewing the Holy Land Illustrated Bible. This is by Holman Publishers, and it is 1,969 pages with eight pages of color maps in the back. It is double columned. There are also no cross references. This is the hardback edition. It's also available in leather or faux leather or something leather ish. I'm going to go ahead and take off the dust jacket because it's just easier to hold that way. And it comes on this nice cloth, gold, off-white, beige-ish hardcover binding. It comes with two ribbons and the pages are all full color. Now they're thin, so you get some ghosting. It has that kind of thin chalky feel to it that some of the full color pages have, but the illustrations and the photos are absolutely gorgeous. Now the main selling point for this illustrated Bible is it has over 1200 high quality photographs and images all throughout. It's almost hard to find a page without full color illustrations or full color pictures for the book intros. They're everywhere. There are also 40 of these digging deeper call out boxes. They talk about issues related to archeology span or ancient Near East literature. And throughout the Holy Land Illustrated Bible, there are over 275 of these full length articles on different subjects. This one is on En Gedi, the history and the archeology. span This one is on the city gate and the importance of city gates. Now, this is the main selling point of this study Bible by far, because other than the articles and the digging deeper section and the pictures, there are no study notes to this Bible. The Holy Land Illustrated Bible does not have any study notes that accompany the different verses. So if you have a question about a verse in particular, you're not gonna find any notes at the bottom of the page that explain the verse. However, they try to make up for it with massive amount of essays and illustrations throughout. The essays come from a wide array of contributors, but mostly from Baptist traditions, because after all, Holman is a Baptist company. There may be some exceptions to that, but most of the names that I saw that I recognized come from various Baptist backgrounds. Now, the bread and butter of this Bible are these essays sprinkled throughout. And I'll read you a few of them so you can get an understanding of what kind of information you're gonna find in the Holy Land Illustrated Bible. The Hebrew calendar, literacy in the ancient Near East, sorcery, witchcraft, and divination, leveret marriage in the book of Ruth, music in David's time, the allure of Baal, legal concepts in the book of Job, who were the Canaanites, lions as Old Testament imagery, fasting in sackcloth, banking in the first century, Passover in Jesus's day, Jews in first century Rome, prisons of the first century. And there are over 250 others, wide range of topics that are covered throughout. There is an illustrated introduction to each book and then a one to two page overview. Most of them are one pages, sometimes one and a little bit over into the second page. But the book introductions are very sparse. They're not commentary introductions. They're really shorter than most study Bible introductions. They don't give any outlines of the book. They don't give any timelines throughout the book. There are very few charts. There's no large timeline at the beginning. There are full color maps at the back, but that's that's pretty much it. These essays and then the pictures, I can't stress enough how illustrated this illustrated Bible is. Tons and tons of illustrations. So they really are as advertised. But if you're expecting a study Bible with notes that'll help you understand the different passages or verses or chapters that you're reading, you're not going to get that in this one. So usually we look at how does this book handle Genesis? How does it handle Exodus, Romans, Revelation, and the general observations? There's not much of that. I mean, I could go through and look at some of the different essays in Genesis and Exodus, and there are really good ones, but each essay contributor is their own entity. So you're, you're going to get the view of the writer of that essay along with with, again, tons of pictures. And at the back, there is a concordance to the Christian Standard Bible, which is the translation this is in. It is a Holman publication, so it is the Christian Standard Bible, formerly the Holman Christian Standard Bible. So do I recommend the Holy Land Illustrated Bible? Yes, I actually do, but not as your primary study Bible because, again, there are no study notes. So if you're trying to understand the text, this is not going to do a great job in walking you through the books, introducing you to the types of literature, genre, interpretation, all of those kind of things. But if you want background, if you want to see the places where these events took place, if you want photos of Megiddo or En Gedi or Galilee or all of these different places in the Bible, this 
is a great resource. So I would put this up there with, say, the Archaeology Study Bible that's in the ESV or the Archaeological Study Bible in the NIV. This would be in that category, the Holy Land Illustrated Bible in the CSB, which is a great translation. So go ahead and check out the reviews of those other study Bibles here at the Disciple Dojo channel. Just click on the links at the end of this video. But I do recommend this. This is a good addition to have on the shelf. I wouldn't make it your primary study Bible, but it is exactly what it says it is. It's incredibly illustrated, and it does give a lot of background that kind of puts you in the world of the biblical times. So I give it a thumbs up. Check it out. Let me know what you think. If you enjoy these Bible review videos, it is huge for you to click like and to click subscribe. We are still trying to grow this channel. We've upgraded a little bit. You can see we look a little nicer here and we want to continue growing. But the only way we can do that is if we have your support. And the only way you can show your support on YouTube in this age that we're in is by clicking like and subscribe and preferably telling people about this. Share these reviews with your pastor, small group leaders, Sunday school teachers. We want to continue to grow this channel. So we'll go as long as you guys keep supporting us. Thanks for watching as always. Take care, and we'll see you right here in the Disciple Dojo channel for our next study Bible review.